Hey everyone, today is Wednesday. I am Chris, and this is A Fresh Perspective. So I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Welcome back, Mike, and I hope your week is going better than last week, Laura. I'm doing pretty well myself. I'm still a little freaked out about the future, but I'm getting there. I'm looking at law schools, and I'm being fairly productive by my standards, so I'm doing all right, I'd say. And I'm enjoying making my video today in the nice sunshine, so I'd say today's a good day. Um, first, I'll talk a little more about Catherine's and Alaska. Um, I, re I really did like Alaska. It was really good, and it was a nice distraction from what I was doing at the time. And I was reading it during a project during school, and it was nice. Catherine's, though, the reason I liked it more is I, I liked what Laura said about the style of the footnotes, or maybe Mike, I forgot which one of you said that, but the, uh, the footnotes reminded me of my academic books, but so much more interesting. And it was just a good book, and I just, I don't know, I related to it more. Just, I guess, the journey of discovery. Like, Miles sort of knows who he is, but he doesn't. And I don't know, just for some reason, the, the road trip and the discovering things sort of reminded me more of myself and I could see myself more in that story. So, I don't know. I just, I like Catherine's more. They were both really good and really excited about Paper Towns. And I'm actually going to the LA Paper Towns trip. Maybe San Francisco too, if I'm up there, but they're pretty close together, so probably not. But it's on Halloween, which is pretty dope, I think. I'm going to dress up in some kind of Halloween costume. I don't know what. We'll see. Uh, I've got a few ideas. I want to be Rex Manning. If if you guys know who that is, it's Empire Records, which is a great movie. I guess that can be one of my picks this week. It's, uh, I don't know, I just think of that movie. And sort of like, the, I think we're the last generations that are truly going to be able to appreciate it because it's set in a record store and that's something that's disappearing and I don't think anyone younger than us or maybe a couple more years can really appreciate the humor in that movie as much, but no one will get Rex Manning, but it, it's one of my ideas. I have a few others, we'll see. I'd actually like some input if you guys have any cool ideas. Um, so I'm going to go to that, and it should be fun, uh, Nerdfighter Halloween, because yeah, I don't have really many Nerdfighter friends either. I met one girl in Santa Cruz that was a Nerdfighter, and we met for coffee on campus once, and that was fun, but now I don't really have many friends who know about nerd fighting and whatnot, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It should be interesting, and I'm looking forward to Paper Towns, of course, and I'm jealous of you, Mike. I want to go to that New York opening. I'm kind of partial to New York myself when I went there last, although I never thought I'd like New York. Somehow it seduced me, but I, I don't know. I want to go to that. We'll see. I know I can't, but L.A. should be awesome. I'm excited. Um, what else do I have to talk about? I hope you like my music picks. To this week I have something for you, Instructables. It's a fairly well-known website. It's basically just a bunch of how-tos on all kinds of random stuff. It, uh, it's pretty interesting. I made a paper wallet from there, which I left inside. Otherwise I'd show you, but it's pretty cool. Very origami-ish and whatnot. And it's just, it has everything on there. It has techie stuff, like how-to guides. There's just, like, life lessons, I guess. I'll link to a couple interesting ones. Which, speaking of, Instructables, I actually found an Instructable on how to become a vampire and make a Twilight cake, which you were talking about, Laura. I have actually read Twilight. I am ashamed to admit. I've actually read all four of the books, which is even more. I don't know of an insult to my manhood, but don't ever feel bad about recommending girly things. I have girly interests that are way too embarrassing to share and do not fit with me being a man, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you'll like New Moon. I don't know, they're, they get, I don't know, you'll see. And Breaking Dawn is a whole nother matter. I just, I couldn't keep it together reading that book. I was laughing so much because I was visiting my friend in New York when I was there, and I bought her a copy of Breaking Dawn as a gift because she was letting me stay at a crash at her place for a couple days, which is pretty awesome. But it should be fun. 
you'll uh, enjoy the series, I'm sure, if you're enjoying it so far. I'm just, I marvel in the fact that they're so addictive, because they're not well written, and I don't know, just somehow they are. Something about them, I, I want to find what that something is, because I'm sure there's something that's crack, I'm sure. And uh, let's see, what else? I think that's it. It's going to be a short video this week since I gave you such a long and completed video last week. Hopefully this, you enjoy your week. I look forward to your video on Friday, Laura, and I guess I'll be seeing you on Monday, Mike.